Hey guys, Gareth here at Caravan King. Uh, today I'm going to give you uh, another walkthrough of one of our great looking vans in the yard. Uh, it's going to be this Retreat Mabel, it's a 2014 model. Uh, it's got an east-west bed inside, obviously you can see the uh, good looking checker plate on the outside as well. Uh, it is classified as a semi off it has solar, it has a uh, battery. Uh, right, let's go. So, from the front we have a 50mm uh, ball hitch and that's incorporating the, the, the handbrake as well. Next to the handbrake, we have your breakaway system. Now, this is required to uh, connect to the vehicle. Uh, if the caravan becomes detached from the car, this cable will pull, open the circuit, and the brakes go on for the van. There is a battery built into the system, a separate battery, which will last for 15 minutes. It's only there to designed to stop the caravan for a short period of time while you arrange a good place to, or safe place to park it. Next we have a, six in, a solid 6 inch A-frame. Now this chassis is made by g and Chassis and they're one of the most popular uh, chassis manufacturers in Melbourne. Uh, they do, I think it's about 8 or so different manufacturers, uh, Retreat being one of them. Uh, g and have been the chassis manufacturer for Retreat, uh, I'm pretty sure since day one. Um, personally I've been through the uh, factory, factory for GNS, and they're amazing. If you're ever in Melbourne, it's definitely one place to go. At the front, we've got the Alco ESC. This is the electric sway control. This will kick in on the road if your van becomes unstable and it will break each individual wheel. Uh, you will, though, need a separate Anderson plug on the vehicle as it has its own dedicated power supply. We are an approved repairer and installer of Alco ESC, so we can fit these for you as well. Behind there, just got your standard two nine kilo gas bottles, and then behind here, we've got your front boot. Obviously, your battery will be in here, your charger, and your VIN plate. If you need any information, weights, etc. The good thing about the layout of this caravan, as you'll see in, in two secs, is um, you have so much extra storage on the outside. Uh, if you do run out of things, places to put things inside, you have sections like this. Good for a small generator, uh, small items, that sort of thing. And then, underneath the bed, we have another little hatch, good for ground sheets, annexes, and the like. Come down to the back. You have these two shower lockers, top and bottom. Now these are fully galvanised, so you can put anything in there: picnic tables, chairs, and they're all lockable as well, so nice and safe. All right. Attached to the side of the van, we have this Dometic awning. Uh, it's in really good condition. Uh, very, very simple to operate as well, uh, but I'll save the operation of uh, an awning for a later parts video, or either for myself or for my other uh, worker here. Uh, and with this particular van, it has an annex as well. So the annex for this van is located underneath the bed. Um, again, in really great condition. So on the side of the van above the wheel arches, we've got the picnic table, your 240 power outlet, which is a 10 amp, your 12 volt outlet, and your TV outlet as well. So if you wanna watch TV outside, you can. Just bring your TV out, put it on the picnic table, plug it into the power supply and the TV aerial, and away we go. Right, on the side, next to that here, next to the door, you have your manual step, nice and easy. All you do, pull, push, Tucked away nicely. Uh, quite strong as well, it'll, just, it'll take away most of the stone guard or stone impacts that you have on here. Um, yeah, quite a popular step. So, down the back, we have your Safety Day reversing rear view camera. Uh, these cameras are very, very popular. They're manufactured over in uh, Melbourne by a company called Safety Dave. Retreat still use these, these cameras. Uh, on today's models. Uh, it's worth pointing out that um, Retreat 
are a manufacturer that have made over 4,000 caravans now. They are Melbourne based, uh, so everything that they do is made uh, in Melbourne. Uh, the factory there is massive. Again, if you're ever in Melbourne, knock on the door, ask to have a walk around and they'll gladly show you food. Uh, Retreats are a timber framed manufacturer. Uh, well, this model is a timber frame caravan. And they, as you'll see when we step inside, they just tick all the boxes for most people. So, come around this side. All right, so down this side of the van, which is now the driver's side, we've got your external shower. Behind here, you have your hot and cold taps, your hose, just pull it out, wash the dog, wash your feet when you get back from the, from the beach uh, or walking down the tracks. Uh, then below the shower, we've got your hot water system. This is a Suburban SW6 DEA. Now, what that is, is a 22 litre storage hot water system. Uh, behind here, again, Corey or uh, our parts guy will go into more detail in another video, but you've got uh, a very, very popular, simple hot water system that most manufacturers still use today. Next to the hot water system, you've got your toilet compartment. I'm not going to go into detail because no one wants to see any empty toilet cassette. Um, but this is normally the husband's job. Okay. And then next to that, we've got your fridge vents. Bottom and top, and then the gas exhaust for the fridge is right next to there as well. Further on down, you've got your 240 inlets. You can see the cables plugged into the side. And then above that, if you have portable satellite dish, that goes in the two plugs above the 240 pins. So, next to the, so in this area we have the mains water filler uh, for your mains pressure. Now the tanks on here, there were two tanks and both tanks are 90 litres. Um, but when you're at Caravan Park, just connect up to your mains filler. And then next to that mains filler, we have the jacking point for uh, the caravan. Now there's two of these, one each side, normally just behind the wheels. If you have a trailer mate jack, there's an adapter in that so that it will clamp in and then you pull the jack, you um, pump the jack up and it lifts the caravan. A normal trailer mate should do the job. If you haven't got a trailer mate, a bottle jack or a quite a large scissor jack should do as well. So, let's head inside. Okay, so uh, on our way in we're greeted with this good looking K-Mac door. Uh, now, with this, if you go into hot weather, you can obviously separate the door. By doing that, grab your handle, go to 12 o'clock and the door will separate. You put the outer door on the latch, and your inner is now a fly screen. Uh, so yeah, let's lock breeze through, uh, but it's still got your security in there as well. So. Now, uh, the Retreat Mabel has a very unique layout. Uh, this is a 21 foot 6 internal layout. The whole van itself, the body is 23 foot. Uh, the from tow ball to spare tire you're looking at 28 feet uh, as you can see from the front you have all this storage uh, so if anyone is ever complaining that you haven't got enough cupboard space in any caravan retreat has solved that uh, full mirrors across the front also means that it opens up the front of the van a lot you've even got a dressing table at the front as well with the overhead light but we're not going to start there we're going to go right down the back start in the messy end of town. The toilet. Uh, standard Thetford toilet, it's the most pop one of the most popular toilets uh, in caravans. Um, I will go into this more, with more detail when you come and view the van in person. But next to that we have your recessed vanity with overhead touch light. Cupboards all down the side and all along the top as well with plenty of storage that anyone needs. Uh, retreat. So, Retreat like this matte finish cabinetry and personally it's a favourite of mine. It gives it a subtle, elegant look uh, and it suits the brand. Underneath the overhead covers we have your washing machine. It's hidden away, tucked underneath this top lid here. It's a KMEC, it's 2.5 kilos. Uh, it's a good size for your shirts, your shorts, socks and jocks. It does need mains water connected to it, uh, just for the amount of water flowing into it. And it also does need 240 volt connected to the outside of the van as well. Uh, 
next to the washing machine, you have the shower. Big enough that you can move around. It's not claustrophobic. Uh, if the now inside here there was no switches for the lights, what they've done is they put a touch light in the roof. Off, you go low, medium, high, done. That's also got a built-in extraction fan at the top and the vent lid that will wind up as well. Let's step out. All right, now that we're out of the bathroom, we're in the kitchen. The This fridge here is a Dometic 186 litre three-way fridge. Freezer at the top, fridge at the bottom. I like these Dometic fridges just because they have the wire shells rather than the plastic. Uh, really economical as well. Uh, they will work off 240 volt gas or 12 volt from the battery on the car. Uh, if you're free camping, gas is the ideal way to cool the fridge. Uh, if you're at Caravan Park, just flick it onto 240. Nice and easy. Above the fridge is your microwave. Standard 240 volt. Only works from 240 volt or when you're plugged into, into a generator. Um, very standard run of the mill microwaves. Above us is a Four Seasons hatch. Now, there are two of these, one at the front, one at the back. The purpose of a Four Seasons hatch is to direct the air through the caravan wherever you want it to go. So, with the amount of LEDs in this van, it is nice and bright. Uh, so, you don't need a skylight of any sort. So, what you've got is four vents all around the outside. To use them, or you grab the handle, twist it, and you can see that opens up. If the wind's coming from this direction, the wind's being forced in through the van. If it starts to rain though, we can close it with the rain setting. Air still comes through, but the rain doesn't touch it. If you ever need to clean the vents, all you can do, grab that, that comes off like so. Nice and easy. Next to the fridge we have your Swift grill and oven. Um, it's a three gas, one electric burner stove with the gas grill and the gas oven. To ignite the burners it's just as simple as any other caravan. You just push, twist and spark. Done. If you have been cooking on here for a while don't close the lid straight away um, because above this lid is just glass but that will close up and give you a lot more bench space. Above the stove we've got your standard range hood with built in light underneath and then above that is all the electrics for the caravan. You've got the 12 volt pump switch, the suburban gas hot water switch as well, your water tank gauge and then your solar regulator. Uh, the caravan has one panel on the roof, it is 150 watts, and the battery in the front boot is 100 uh, amp hour AGM. Uh, all in all, plenty of power to get you in any overnight situation or a couple of days free camping by yourself. Built into any retreat of this era, you have your water tap and then your filtered water tap. Uh, so they still use the water tanks underneath the caravan, but they and they use the same pump, but there's a separate filter system underneath this for clean drinking water. This one is just your tank water or your mains pressure. As soon as you turn tap on, the pump will kick in. So below the sink, obviously you can see we have lots of cupboard space. Even they managed to squeeze in slide that pantry. You got your standard cutlery drawer above uh, and just a little compartment for hand soap, that sort of stuff. The windows on this retreat, uh, they have a built in blackout blind, comes from the bottom, and then a mozzie screen comes from the top. So if you are going to go um, up north, uh, somewhere where the flies are pretty bad, just close the mozzie screens, go from there. If you wanted to open the window, it is as simple as one, two, and three, and then you push until you hear the click. Done. Release, and it's on that one setting. 
the smaller windows will grow up in two sections, the bigger ones will grow up in three, but if we push one more time, done, and we want, when we want to take it down, we just push the window, let it drop. Radio, just a standard AM FM radio. It does have a built-in CD player next to it. The switch on the left-hand side of the radio is your outdoor speaker switch. So you can turn the outdoor speakers on and off. Um, if you wanted to watch a movie through it, you can. Uh, there is a video, this is actually linked to a video connection at the back of the TV. Uh, so if you want to put the DVD that you're watching into here, you can play it through the two rooftop speakers as well. Opposite the radio, we have your cafe seating. This is plenty of space for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, you've got the standard cafe uh, fabric lounge with built-in footrests as well, which come up just like so. So you've got plenty of space to stretch out, watch TV at night time. In between the lounge, you have a tri-fold table. So, this table will fold up to be from about here to here, so it gives you a lot more leg room and space in there as well. Reading lights throughout the caravan, you have two in the cafe area and two in the bedroom. Uh, they have built-in night lights as well. So, if you press the button once, it's blue. Um, press it again, it's white. I've been told it's good for mosquitoes and midges and that sort of stuff. All right, so we're now in the bedroom. With this bedroom, you have an inner spring mattress. It's an east-west bed. If it was a north-south bed, now what I mean by that is if the bed was going from your front to your back, it would be take up a lot more space and the van would definitely be longer. What they've done to make it into a 21 foot 6 layout, it's an east-west bed um, with plenty of storage underneath. Now, if you remember in the beginning, there was a hatch on the outside. That hatch goes into under the bed. Perfect area, as you can see, to store your bedding, your pillows, anything miscellaneous that you want to just hide. Uh, annex is also great for underneath there as well. But nice and easy, and the bed is on gas struts as well, so anyone can lift and drop it. TV. It's a 12 volt TV, so it will work off the 12 volt system on the on the caravan. It also has a built-in DVD player and that is all connected to the wall plugs in the top here. We have your 12 volt socket, we have your aerial connection and your video connection as well. So if you want a DVD, as I said in the CD player, that's your video connection right there. Next to there we have the 240 volt main RCD and, if you, and as I said earlier on, if you do have portable satellite they come through these plugs right here. So lights throughout the caravan if the lights in here are getting a bit unbearable, you're in pitch black, uh, but you don't want to strain your eyes too much, the good thing with the retreat lighting is uh, they have the blue light as well as the white light. So I'm going to control these two lights up here with the switches next to the window. To turn the top one off, blue light. Nice uh, and, well, you can still walk around, you can still rest in the middle of the night, but you're not waking the other half in bed. Uh, Click that switch again, you've got your white light. If the blue in there is a bit too much, you can independently turn the blue off, and that just makes just white. Front of the hair run. As I said, lots and lots of space for anything you may need. You have your hanging robes down here and on the other side. You have lots of storage underneath, drawers for anything you may need. Probably a bit too much storage, I'd say. Um, don't overload the caravans, don't put too much in here, um, but this is really handy to have. And then you have the dressing table right at the front, again with another touch light. As I said at the beginning, it really opens up the layout. This caravan is one of the most popular layouts that Retreat do. Uh, although the name Mabel may not be use anymore, the layout is still one of, the most, most, one of the most popular layouts that Retreat do. So, if there is any questions that you guys have, uh, give me a call. The phone number is 08 9534 7572. We're located at 11 Watson Drive in Barragut, just outside of Mandra, in between Cronulla Freeway and Mandra. Uh, all the vans we have is on our Facebook site, so just type in Caravan King on Facebook or Google. 
uh, also on the website as well. Um, just don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. See ya.